you'd like to see more of our videos, hit the subscribe button to stay on top of the market news. Good morning traders. Welcome to today's market review. This is Fred Razak at CM Trading. Today is June 30th, 2020. And today is Tuesday morning. It's also the last day of the month where we will have NFP reports coming up this Friday. So just want to highlight that before we start. But looking at the highlights of the day, record surge in pending home sales in the U.S. has lifted the markets higher. Okay, there could be some sunshine at the end of this, you know, pandemic situation. But first, let's take a look at the economic events of the day. So we really have just one major event coming out later today. Out of the United States, Fed Chairman Powell will be testifying in front of Congress in regards to the last interest rate decision, and that will be at 6.30 South African time. Looking at the markets, though, we're going to start out with the currencies. British pound retraces versus the dollar. That is the weakest one versus the dollar, and it did retrace quite nicely. We'll take a look at that in a second together with the USD czar. And looking at the indices, we both mentioned that the Dow Jones and the NASDAQ bounces on yesterday's home, pending home sales. And looking at the commodities, oil bounces off that bottom range at $37. I told you to be aware of it and sure enough it did gold pretty much unchanged at 1770 ish level and lastly looking at the stocks again it's a tech stocks that lifts the markets higher okay but that rotation may continue into today so let's take a look at the markets and see what we can expect from today's trading so as mentioned earlier the gbp is really the weakest pair versus the usd and you can see here we're hitting that 12287 ish level really showing that weakness on the downside we're retracing over 100 pips in the past day so that's a decent retracement for the dollar uh in regards to the gbp now we are hitting this bottom range okay now really at this area 122.68 to 121.95 is really support ish area if you even look at a larger time frame then you can see that a little bit clearer okay um so with that said just be aware of it Okay, we may see a bounce right before this does, you know, break further down. Now, looking at the Euro USD, it didn't really do much yesterday. Okay, as you can see here, it's just retracing within a very, very tight range. And that's because the Euro is a little bit stronger vis-a-vis -vis the dollar, okay, than the GBP is. Yesterday, Boris Johnson, the Prime Minister, has mentioned that the uh, pandemic has wreaked havoc and a devastation to the UK economy and sure enough that's reflecting in the currency as well now jumping into the USD czar you guys know that I've been watching this quite carefully and we're hitting this area okay really getting close to that trend line on the downside so I would like to see some sort of correctional move here on the downside okay but if it does breach that trend line on the upside we do have resistance at this 1747 so just be aware of it and then jumping into gold just to highlight the fact that it has done nothing it's at 1770 ish level and you could see that quite clearly okay look at that tight 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 range all right now this is predominantly summer trading okay this is very 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 reflective of summer trading and i don't think there's much sellers in gold because i think people are still scared in terms of the inflationary risks that are involved with all these surpluses and stimulus packages okay so something to consider now looking at oil nice little bounce of our 37 and a half dollars two dollar balance that's a nice sharp bounce on the upper edge of it now we do have further on the upside to go but I'd like to see some follow through here you're seeing some volatility but I'd like to see some follow through now looking at the dow jones this is what's amazing right here we challenge this 25,557. okay now this has been really the midpoint okay and it could be this upper range right now now we hit it several times here last week and now we're hitting it again right here and we're selling off to this 25,447, just 100 points off of our highs here but i'd like to see some follow through now this was monday of last week we rallied all the way to 26,200 ish level and then retraced okay so in all intents and purposes we're smack in the middle between this upper range and this lower range of 24,779. okay so this will be a telling sign which way we're going to go here now the thing that has been carrying us higher is obviously the tech stocks okay but before we get to the tech stocks let's discuss the nasdaq now the nasdaq it was trading just this morning at ten thousand above that area but if it does falter and you see people taking money off the tech stocks then i think we're going to get a sharper sell-off 
in the general market, okay? But it's got to really reflect in the stock. Now, looking at Apple yesterday, we bounced a little bit to 360. The major one was Microsoft, okay? Trading above this 197-ish level. Okay, this is really the one that I'm looking for because this has really been the one that carried us higher, okay? Even though Apple and Amazon both make record highs, but it's Microsoft that has not only, you know, the contract behind it with the U.S., okay, that it uh, signed a contract with the government to the U.S. for $10 billion over the next, you know, 10 years. But this is really the one that has really shifted the market tremendously, okay? So it's really Apple, Amazon, and Microsoft. Now, looking at Amazon also, we didn't get that bounce so sharp as I'd like to. Now, Facebook has been showing some weakness as this tumbled from 244 down to 209, and capitulating there and then bouncing to 219. So this may see itself challenging this low again of 209. Now looking at the bank stocks, lastly, relative weakness there to 92.56, but not breaking further down. So we may see a shift in the market as the market kind of, you know, subsides with the volatility and the intrinsic value of what you know the current state is of the economy is going to be reflective of the actual uh, index so that's actually going to fruit itself as we continue in this week because we're taking in all this new information like this pending home sales you know increase is positive sign okay so it just you know just because we've had the pandemic doesn't mean that we went into a recession already but it does mean that we may have slowed down but we may still rebound because we were halted by this pandemic. So we may see like this rubber band effect after the economy opens up and you see a greater surge than what it was four, five, six months ago before this pandemic actually took place. So something to consider as we go into the balance of the summer. This is Fred Rezac. I want to wish you guys a great trading day. Thank you.